it was world history in the making. That is how I felt. Because there is something here that will change not only the outlook of Africa, but also it will have a greater impact in the world. It was historic because, you know, the people in the South had fought for that moment to come for the longest. There were so many lives lost, so many blood has been shed for so many years. And that was part of the comprehensive peace agreement. So that moment in time, that January 9th, was really the epitome of that, what they had fought for. I felt that sense of history, being able to observe a very historic event. We were very tempted to talk to voters, but you know, as uh, observers, we also had to be careful not to breach our own uh, laws because we were supposed to be neutral observers, observing the setting of the uh, referendum and whether or not people are able to cast their vote, whether or not rules are followed in the way that happens. So what they were exactly voting for, what they were hoping for, that was something that, of course, we would have loved to know but we couldn't ask the people directly. But indirectly, we could talk to people in our tomb. The situation and the feeling on the street was very much different from the South, where you could see jubilation and people lining up. In the North, it started very slow, and I would say it was somewhat sober feeling. People had mixed emotions about it. Sudan has happens to have an history of alternating peace agreement or not honoring those agreements. So in this regard, it's really remarkable that the referendum could happen the way it did.